Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with tizich.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put listings on your website using the using the WordPress plugin and IDX tool called DS IDX Press from Diverse Solutions. Now, this website URL is DS as you see here, idxpress.com. All right? So it's DS idxpress.com. So anyhow, after you have this tool set up on your site, let me first show you that there's two things I want to show you. Number 1, how to actually add listings into your blog post. And number two, I want to show you a couple sidebar widget tools. As you see on this site here, I want to show you a couple tools here like the search for homes uh, widget and then there's another one, the communities widget I'll show you. So anyhow, let's just go ahead and begin with the first part of adding listings. All right, So here's the first thing you want to do. Uh, go to a post or go to a page. Either one doesn't matter. It's the same process. And click on add new. Now, as it's loading, understand there's two ways that you can add listings into your blog postings and pages with this tool. And it's one, you could add an individual listing or you can add a group of listings, all right? And both of these are super easy to do just with one simple button click, all right? So let's go over the first one. And the first one is adding an individual listing, okay? So here's what you do. So let's call this individual listing test. All right, and here's all you have to do. You can put custom content here. You can put custom content. Okay, so, but I'm just showing you that after. After you put custom content, if you want, just hit enter so you're not directly connected to it and do the following. For an individual listing, just click on this first green button that has one little green arrow or green home signature and then click on it. And all you have to do now is Put, put in the exact MLS number of a listing you want. So I'm going to put in the MLS number of a listing that I know is currently on the market during this tutorial. I click on the MLS number there. I click on insert listing. And now you'll get some code showing up here, okay? So understand, now let's just say here's some more of the text. I'm just going to put more of the text just to show you, a diff just to show you the difference and so forth. So let's say you wanted to put more content before this listing. You maybe could put a video or something. It doesn't really matter. Let's just say you have content and then now you have the listing after doing the green button. After this, all you have to do is hit publish in your blog post. It publishes the blue button on the right side. And after it publishes, we're going to have a whole new listing put on our site easily. All right, so let's now it just published. So let's view the post. And now here's our post. Let's scroll down now. And here it is. We so This is the custom content we put in. You can or can't put this. You choose to put it if you want. And then we have all the listing details. All right. And that's pretty much how you put an individual listing embedded on your blog posting. All right. And notice that it'll link to a whole separate listing page itself. And this listing page is the one that will have the awesome schedule showing buttons and so forth. This is probably the better one. So right here, notice how the individual listing page actually looks. It had we put the, we build this into your theme here, but this this by default it has the request more info schedule showing and share print etc. And then obviously if you click on schedule showing, it's just going to take you down to the schedule showing section. All right. So that's how you put an individual listing. Now let's say you want to put a group of listings. So here I am back in the admin panel. I'm going to delete the individual listing. And now let's say you want to put a group. To put a group, what you have to do is choose this button here, the second one that has multiple green homes. Click on that. And now all you got to do is choose the criteria that you want to put in. So let's say I want to show the city and I want to put in something that is in, let's just find Beverly Hills just to be something that we know is going to exist. Beverly Hills, let's say price range 1 million to 2 million. And we want to show the residential for sale all right after do, choosing the criteria we'll click on show large photos number of listings to display I like putting 250 after that you click on insert listings and now you're gonna have this code there and now when you update your page or publish after doing this we're, it's the same exact process we go back to our home page or we go back to view this page page we go back to view this post and we click on view post and now we're gonna see how the IDX is now embedding multiple listings of the criteria that we selected here. 
So remember, the correct, whatever criteria you selected, it's going to show those on your new page. All right? So here's the page now. Let's scroll down and we'll see the criteria that we put in. Here's all the listings. Now understand the following. We put in 250, so it's going to show about 50 per page. It's going to show, it's going to show 50 at a given time. If a visitor wants to view the rest of them, what they're going to have to do is click on, of course, see right here, showing 1 through 50 of 89. To see all of them, they're going to have to click on this. When they click on this link, that's what takes them to all 250 where they can scroll through and so forth. All right? So that's how you embed the listings on your site. Now let me show you a couple tools that comes with this system, and they're under the widgets. All right? So let's scroll down now under Appearance and under Widgets. So we click on Widgets. And the here's what a widget is. A widget is basically one of these boxes you see here. So under, there's three widgets that come with this. There's one for individual listings. There's one for a home search widget here. And then there's one that you could put links to communities and cities and so forth. Here's how those function. We click on widgets. Now let's move this camera. So here are our widgets. And here's, the, here's all three of them that function all right you'll have one it starts with IDX IDX areas IDX listings and IDX search just for the sake of this demo let's throw all of them into our widgets category let's minus this now for this moment being to put them all in and now let's take our IDX listings widget and what I'm doing I'm just dragging and dropping into the sidebar one all right so now let's start with these IDX areas I click on the drop down and here's what this is. This just basically gives you, you're allowed to put a list of all the areas. So area types, let's say I want cities. I click on see city names. I have this box that comes up. And this box lists all the cities. Just for the sake of this demo, let's say these are the cities I want to have. So I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna click on paste. And now we have our city list here. And when I click on save, here's what's going to happen. After it's done saving, what's going to happen is on our, home, on our page, on our website, we're going to see a new widget that's going to say city, our coverage areas as the title, which you can put a custom title if you want. But basically, let's just show you what I mean. Let's go to our home page. And this shows up on all your sidebars, by the way. So here's our home page. Let's scroll down now to see the new widget we just put in. Here it is, our coverage areas. And see how it has a link to all communities that when you click on one, let's say I click on, let's just say I click on Anaheim, right? What, what this page is gonna show me are all the listings in Anaheim. Just as simple as that. And this could let me scroll and so forth, all right? So that's the first widget. Now the next one, they all function the same way. I'm gonna take this one out now. The next one is the IDX search one. This functions the same way and you already see this one on the home page. So this is the one, this is the IDX search widget. This is just a straight, full on home search widget. You could give it a custom title, choose what criteria you want, see how there's only a cities. You could choose if you want to have communities, zips, tracks, and MLS numbers. And then, but notice the boxes don't show up. You have to first click save, and then after it saves, it'll give you the box options for all of those that you checked up here. See communities, tracks, zips, all right? And all you gotta do is just click on see all zips or see all track names and copy and paste the ones that you wanna have in there. Same thing with communities and cities, all right? And what that'll do is that's gonna give you the search for homes widgets that lets you choose by city, by community, by tract, whatever your choice is. And all you're gonna do is just have the options here, all right? And now, that's how this widget works. That one's pretty straightforward. Now the final one is the one called IDX listings. Now when you open up this dropdown, here's what shows up. This is basically for individual listings, all right? Now you could do it by city, you could do it by, um, actually, yeah, you could do it by city, by community, by track, or by zip code, but let's say we wanna show, we wanna show 25 listings, you could do 10, let's just keep it reasonable. Let's say 10 listings you wanna show from the city of Beverly Hills, right? So I click on that, and then I wanna show my listings, or office listings, or Whatever the case is, just choose what you want to have. You know, but I'm choosing just time on market. I don't want to show just my listings. I don't want to show just the office listings or anything else. But you can by checking these off. But I'm just going to choose this criteria. I want it. I want it listed by 
highest price to lowest price. And all I did was put in the, the area name, all right, meaning the city is Beverly Hills. And obviously you can see the whole city list here and choose them. And then I'm gonna now just click on save. And here's what this does. After it saves, you wanna go here and let's just go ahead and hit refresh on our browser or let's go to our home page. And now here on our home page, let's scroll down to that section. And here it is, see latest real estate. That's the widget we just put in. It's showing us the 10 latest listings in the city we chose, which was Beverly Hills, ordered by highest to lowest, all right? Because that's what we put in here. We chose the city of Beverly Hills, which you can choose any city, and then it just orders it from highest to lowest because that's what we chose here, all right? But here's something else I wanna show you. You see these three options here, list, details, and map. Well, if we put list, it's gonna show us a list. If we put details, it's gonna show us details like this where we scroll through. If we put map, it's gonna show us a map, all right? Now, here's what you could do. You could choose which one do you wanna have by default. So you see, initially it's show in list by default. You could put show in map by default. So let's say when I do that and I hit save, here's what happens. When, I, when you go to the site here, see this was, this was the default here. When I hit refresh, the default will now be the map versus the list, all right? So that's how you use this tool. Once it goes to it, there it is. So now we have the map as the default. I think this is a pretty cool feature right here because mapping is actually one of the most effective ways people are using home searches. So I would use the map version over the list or the details. The map makes it stand out the best, all right? So just want to share that with you. And uh, basically, that's everything on using the DS ID Express uh, plugin for your website system. All right. If you have any questions, email me at training at tizish.com. Otherwise, good luck and have fun using this tool. Take care.